Well, it's bright and sunny now, but there's not a whole lot going on today because we're in the middle of a heat wave. It's like somebody just flipped the switch. There was no gradual transition. One minute, we're in the 60s and 70s uh, Fahrenheit. Next thing you know, we're almost 100 degrees with very in Fahrenheit, which is around, I guess, 38 degrees Celsius. And very high humidity. And today it's becoming very oppressive. I mean, right now, it's, uh, you know, it's in the morning. And... Uh, it's just so god awful hot and when you live in a uh, climate that's fairly cool you know you're not acclimated to this kind of weather now if I worked in this kind of weather all the time uh, it might be a little bit different I could handle it a little bit better but I'm not at any rate well I've got a sunshade up now over the boat I did move the gantries let me show you as you can see, I do have a sunshade up now, but uh, and we at night now we're having these uh, really severe thunder and lightning storms, heavy downpours, a lot of rain. So I just left the boat wrapped up because uh, you know the rain comes in sideways. The boat would fill up with water even with the sunshade on it. That's not what this video is about, though. Um, going on a little bit of a rant. Now the video that I'm about to show you if you stay with me long enough uh, through my rant is that uh, well it was a while back I posted a video uh, basically a slideshow of some photographs from over 30 years ago basically I was building a 30-foot double-ended cutter you know a wooden boat and uh, so I'll show you a bunch of pictures of that give you a little history a shoestring ship you had and that was before my wooden boat shop had been built and I thought it was kind of cool well I used some music in that video that I got from Ben Sound and Ben Sound they call it a birth of a nation and it's uh, royalty free and all this sort of stuff and this morning I got a copyright claim against me not from Ben Sound but for, from some joker I have no idea who they are and they claimed it by some other name. So that means that it, where it's a monetized video, what YouTube does is they immediately stop paying you any royalties on that particular video and they start paying all the royalties go to the claimant before anything is substantiated. It's amazing. Now, I can dispute it, but YouTube is there's so much red tape and things you have to go through and it takes so much time and it's so much aggravation to try to prove that you know you didn't do anything wrong and that there is no claim well YouTube keeps making things more difficult and more and more in favor of these copyright claimants and what's happening is you get a lot of these jokers in third world countries that uh, you know they don't get caught they don't nothing happens to them they start posting all kinds of claims against uh, videos and so they start raking in money from YouTube and what what some of them do is they'll they'll post a number of claims against one individual so that individual's channel is just locked up and they're making all the money from it and then what they'll do is they'll hold it ransom and they'll release the claims in exchange for a ransom payment this goes way beyond the usual social media troll. Social media trolls are easy to deal with, they're not a big deal. But this is serious. I mean, this affects people's income. So, what I've done is I've repackaged this video. The original video, it's still on YouTube, but I made it private so that nobody's going to be able to watch it, and nobody's going to, so there won't be any royalties or anything. And so the jerk off that went and put a claim against me isn't going to make a dime on it and I'm reposting this video using the really crappy YouTube music studio library which is what YouTube says oh all you have to do is just change the music and use our crappy music library and you'll be good to go so they're really pushing that well 
I'm doing that, but I'm repackaging the video and even under a different name. And so may, you may not have seen it, so you get to see it in just a couple of seconds. But I wanted to let you know what's going on. More of my rant, more details are down below in the video description. And I'll tell you, those of us that are creating videos on YouTube, it's an uphill battle all the time. We find more and more obstacles. There are more problems. There's more red tape, more than ever before. It's getting very, very difficult. And so you as viewers can help us out a lot. If you can put some comments in the comment section below, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. doesn't matter. Just do something. Uh, subscribe, share, all those good things. And we say that all the time. Most of us will say, please share and do all that stuff. We have to. Uh, it's cutthroat out there, and I'm seriously considering going to Vimeo. Um, Vimeo is a whole different ball game. It's a different kind of platform. Things are vastly different than on YouTube for the creator, that is, not so much for the viewer. So I'm thinking about giving that a try. They do have a free trial uh, or a free subscription where you're limited on your videos and what you can do with them. But I might try that and, uh, and post those for my patrons on Patreon which I really appreciate. I don't have a lot of patrons right now, but the ones I do have, they do help offset my costs somewhat, and it's very much appreciated. So, I'm not gonna get much boat building done today, but I just wanted to get that rant out of my system, let you know what's going on, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy this video. I mean, uh, I wasn't doing videos way back then, over 30 years ago, so that's why it's a slideshow, but, uh, brings back a lot of memories for me anyway. Uh, it's not my first rodeo. I've built a lot of boats. So anyway, thank you for your time. Thanks for indulging me. <laughs> thank you for watching.